Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Friday, February the 22nd. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions for me, you can use this email address. This is a link to get into our 100% free trading room. And by that, I mean you don't even have to be a member of Trade Ideas to come into our free room. I open the room at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, and that's when I get live on the, or start to share my screen. I get live on the mic at about 9.05. I go up to 3.30, Mondays to Thursdays, and up to 3 o'clock on Fridays. There's a promo code here in the email you're getting, 15% off, either the first month of a standard or premium subscription, or the entire year of a standard or premium subscription. So, you know, a lot of times Fridays are very, very quiet, but not today. My goodness, uh, all started with Stamp. I didn't take this one, but I, you know, I just have to talk about this. So Stamp released earnings, but also sort of a double whammy. They also said that their exclusive um, uh, uh, partnership, I guess, with USPS was coming to a close. Now, when I first read the press release, it, it looked like they were the ones that were stopping it because... The CEO came out and said, you know, this is going to be short-term pain, but long-term gain because now we can deal with other carriers and all. But it, it appears more, there's more to it that they couldn't come to an agreement. And so that is what happened. But look at this. I mean, this is $200 stock yesterday. They released earnings. Look at the stock right now, $84. It has been a long time, if ever, that I've seen this, something like this happens, that has happened to a non-biotech stock. Sometimes we'll see bios uh you know release uh, some news on their drug that completely failed and you will see stocks getting chopped in half even expensive ones chopped in half it's been a long time since i've seen a non-bio uh something like this happen so that was all that was a lot of excitement uh, right there diplomat this is my this is what i'm <laughs> crying in my soup on uh diplomat i didn't actually see this in the pre-market i'm not quite sure why but i did see it right here i'm sorry right right about here and i wanted to short it but unfortunately the uptick rule nailed me and what that uptick rule is if you're not familiar with it if a stock is down more than 10 percent if you want to short it you know typically you just go in at the bid and 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 you uh you know you short it and but with the uptick rule in effect uh, before you can short it, there has to be some trades at the ask. Now, when I was looking at it, I think the, it was bid ask 870, 871. So that was fine. I saw some trades going through at 871. Then I saw some trades going through at 870 where I wanted it. Problem is, I was probably in a very long queue of people who wanted to short it. So then it just started moving down. So I didn't get it. It started moving down, down. I didn't, you know, I just didn't want to chase it. Obviously, if I'd known it was going to do this, I would have chased it. But, you know, my crystal ball, my crystal ball is not that good. Now, we ta I talked about this just before I started the video because sometimes you, you do have to know what the news is. You know, a lot of times I don't really care what the news is. I mean, obviously, when I'm doing my pre-market work, I'm, I, I'm, you know, we're seeing the stocks that are gapping up and down. I, I, I'll look at the news. Uh, a lot of times, most of the time, it can be because it's earnings. And so that's when a stock will, I, will probably gap up and down based on the earnings release. Uh, the little bios, some of the bios, they'll gap up because of news release. You know, they've re released results in either a phase one or two or three study. That's why you see, you know, those bios in the pre-market uh, doing incredible things. This one, though, a little bit different excuse me, they the news that they released, <coughs> excuse me, is that they were postponing their earnings release. They were supposed to release earnings after the market closes on Monday. And they came out with a news release saying they were postponing it. That is never, ever, ever a good sign. And, you know, it doesn't even ma really matter why they're postponing, but I did kind of read through it and no, for all the bad, all the wrong reasons that they are postponing it. So this, uh, you know, this was just a, a marvelous short. A lot of people in the room were, ab were able to get it, I guess. Uh, I just wasn't able to, but, um, you know, c'est la vie. Now, one that I was able to get that also was part of the uptick rule was CASA. And CASA was another earnings play. And when you look at CASA, look at on the daily chart. Look, I mean, look, look at the drop here, and there's really no support for it. So when I saw this, and I did see, did I see this in the pre-market? Mm, yes, I did. I saw, I saw that it had gapped down. Uh, so I saw that in the pre-market. When, when I say that, you know, uh, I put in the announcement section everything that I, ta I talk about in the pre-market. So I was just checking to see whether or not that was actually talked about, and it was. So when I saw this, you know, that, that's why we see it. 
And so I did hop on the short right th there and I traded it out. Um, I got in that short about 940, traded some out at 925. I actually have, I actually covered at 910. Um, you can see the sell and the buy. You only see one of them. I'm ha having a little, I had a little issue with my brokerage plus. I had to disconnect so it didn't show the, 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 the second uh, cover right there around 910. But anyway, that was also the uptick rule, but this time I was able to get it. So, you know, it's uh, sort of sometimes a hit or miss, but I sure would have liked to have had the, uh, the, the diplomat. Now, one of the ones, and unfortunately, let's see what it's doing now. Let's see if it's still up. Another one that I took. So EVTC, ah, son of a gun. So EVTC, this is from the down big yesterday. You know, this is one that I, I'm kind of concentrating on these. And as I said in the room, we may not get like the incredible moves, but a lot of the times these have been very steady. I've been just kind of watching this for the last uh, about week and a half, the down big yesterday and the up. Uh, and now a reversal or the up big yesterday and then a reversal. So you can see, I'll just keep this over here. You can see what EVTC did yesterday. And this is why it shows up. So look at this. So this was down big yesterday on earnings. All right. And, but more, almost more importantly, look at this bottoming tail right there. So what did that, what does that mean? First of all, there's the 200 day moving average. So the sellers had sold it. Remember this candle at one point would have been red all the way down here. Now I'm not sure how long it stayed down there, but would have been red all the way down there. The sellers were trying, were in total control, but by the, but certainly the buyers closed it higher, you know, and there's where it closed. So when I saw this showing up here and it showed up at uh, 2909, okay? 2909, let me get to the 15 minute chart. So it showed up right there. Now, I am going to make a, a, a small change here. Now, the reason why it didn't show up a little earlier is because I have a minimum volume of 150,000 shares. And it wasn't until that point that it, that it reached 150,000 shares. I wouldn't have minded it, minding it showing up down here. So I might make a, a change. I might even make it 50,000 shares because it, you know at the beginning of the day, I don't care if the volume is only 50,000 shares because you know right now, actually it's, it's not even that much right now. It's only 343,000. But I, may, I might make the change so I can catch the, at least make it to 100,000 so I can catch the move a little bit earlier. But anyway, bottom line is I took the short, uh, you'll see it right, uh, right about here. And what price is that? That is, I think that was about 2909, actually 29, uh, 2911. So the alert was at 2909. And I, unfortunately I covered here, I made a mistake. You see, I ha actually had a, a stop. I, I was going uh, on my break and I wanted to I wanted to put I wanted to put my stop there and I must have accidentally I must have accidentally put my stop down at uh, 2932 and that's where I got out. Not I, I mean I w really wish I was still in it, but I was taking my break, my my lunch break right then, so I wanted to put the stop in, but I made a mistake. But anyway, bottom line is I'm loving these, you know, I'm really finding that I think another one was SPTN. There was the alert right here. And again, that was another one that was down big yesterday. And so there was the alert at uh, 1846 and it hits a high of 1921. Now they're not all uh, that, that uh, fantastic, but I'll, enough of them are. And, sp and I'm finding that the ones that are certainly maybe 10 to 15, $15 at least. GTX is another one, not, not incredible, 1627, but it got up to 1652, you know, not bad. I mean, it was a steady move on the way up. So I am definitely uh, liking following that uh, the down big yesterday and the up big uh, yes or or up up big down big yesterday, and then reversing or the um, down big yesterday and then reversing. I'm sorry, I know I this is down big yesterday and reversing or up big yesterday and reversing. So the t there there are the two of them. Earnings season is still on us. Next next week we have a thousand companies releasing earnings, and that's why we're getting these because you know again as I keep saying, companies typically when they release earnings, they there's usually a lot of times you'll see big gap up ups or da up or down. So that is giving us that pattern. Uh, after next week, I have no idea how many more we'll get, but I will certain I'm certainly liking to to track it. So anyway, I wanted to get back into the room and. Um, 
We'll close this down and uh, bring back the capture program. So if you have any questions for me, uh, just send me an email right there. If you want the up big or down big, you can uh, fire them off to you. Uh, this is a link again to get into our free room. Uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend and uh, I'll be opening the room 9 o'clock Monday morning. So have a great weekend and hope to see you in the trading room Monday morning. Bye-bye.